Listen, this has gotten personal. Rostislav Nashrov and the Colorado Avalanche are on a mission to win back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. But there is one man that is trying to sabotage this mission, and his name is Josh Morrissey. The guy is an absolute goon. We are going out there fighting hard, playing good, clean hockey, and he is forcing us to drop the gloves and kick us out of the game each and every play. So this episode, we have one enemy and one goal. My goal is to take Take Josh Morrissey out of the game, out of the series. I never want to see him on the ice again. You thought Rusty was going to let this go. No, not today. So with the series tied at one, heading to Winnipeg, it is our mission to take Josh Morrissey out. As we look at the current playoff bracket, yes, we are tied at one with the Winnipeg Jets. Definitely the toughest opponent that we could get in the entirety of the playoffs. The Battle of Alberta also tied at one. Ottawa and the Blue Jackets tied at one and Toronto up 2-0. I don't know what's going on with five of the eight remaining playoff teams being Canadian, but we're gonna try to break that and come out on top. Today, the series continues. We've had a lot of luck in our own barn. Now we're heading to Winnipeg and our goal is to win just one of these games and we'll be okay if we go down early in game number three lose game number four then we start to panic a little bit but we're not gonna let that happen hopping into game number three of round two of the stanley cup playoffs let's go so here we go the canadian national anthem underway we get to play spoiler in their own building and holy it's a white out here in winnipeg as well oh that is intimidating oh okay all right boys it all comes down to this I'm telling you what, this game, it feels like this is the se- <laughs> Tell me this is Josh Morrissey. It's Josh Morrissey! There is no way we are being forced into the- All right, we're going to hold the dodge. Yep. Grab. Dodge grab. Ooh. Ooh. Josh Morrissey, take a seat, buddy. Bop, bop, bang. First hit of the game. I'm telling you what, there is something going on here. Josh Morrissey is stumbling, can't even get to his feet. Rostislav Nashrov lays one hit and one hit only to start this game, and he is forced to drop the gloves. What kind of sick joke is this? Morrissey, you'll be done by the time this game is over. We laid a clean hit on the left side of the ice, and Morrissey literally sprints from the opposite side to force Rusty to drop the gloves. This is how it's going to be. This is going to be an interesting episode. I tell you what. Okay. Okay. Riley Smith. Smitty, you absolute legend with a big goal. Now, last episode, I feel like we played a pretty good game. But the thing that we have to be... Oh! The thing that we have to be mindful of is Hellebuck in net. All right, we, we score a couple on Hellebuck. The floodgates start to open up. This guy gets a little rattled. The pucks will start to go in. But it's all about getting that first one. All right, we can't let him get his confidence up. We can't let him continue to have these knob saves on us, these split saves. We're just going to play our game. Devontae's? I'm not getting too low. Wait up, be there, Varley. Okay, Varley came to play. Get this puck out of the zone, Russ. Nice play. What a breakout. Good defensively, good offensively. We're doing it all this game. Okay, so we don't get a ton of shifts here in the first period as we still do have that 1-0 lead thanks to Smitty. We go into the first intermission. We've gotten one hit, one fight, and that is literally all we have done. Okay, all eyes are on Rostislav Nastarov and Josh Morrissey. I am telling you right now, I'm going to take the puck purposely over to Morrissey's side from now on. I know he's over on that right side. We're going to go over to his side and make sure that we have it. That might have been me. Oh, that was me. Okay. Rostislav Nashrov heading to the box. This is not going to be a pretty game for Rusty and the boys if this continues as we are mocked on our way. Is there any particular reason that Rusty was just raising his hand in the box? I do not know. A tough penalty for Rusty and the boys. And let's kill this one off and get back on the ice. That, that's on me. That's on me. Okay, we do kill off the penalty. And we are back to five on five. Let's go. We got one guy on the ice. Here we go. Kale. Yep. Me and Kale. Oh, the back door. Oh, oh. Through the screen. We don't bury that. Are you kidding me? It is going to be another day of trying to solve Hellebuck in net. It's not going to be easy, but we have to get it done. Through the screen, wide open mid slot. We choke it away. Ooh, nice pass, Rust. Okay, let's go, Landy. I'm going to stay up high. <gasps> yep. Oh, it missed me. Oh, oh, what a save. The double dink. Top left. Bang. Let's go, Rusty. Okay. We solved it. We solved him. It's been a long time since we scored a goal here in these playoffs. I'm not going to lie. I was aiming as top left as I could. 
and that puck went as bottom left as it possibly could but rusty finds the open lane finds the back of the net and shuts this crowd up in winnipeg 2-0 with rusty's goal okay we're starting to run away with this thing this this is what we wanted to do get off to a hot start oh, hold up <laughs> it's over boys it's over this is a series defining moment right here right now win the face off get it up the ice and rusty finds nate back back door look at this little little cut rusty boom boom bang and nate mckinnon is there to bury it holy we got a game here three zero it's over all oh, the fans are absolutely rattled we're in control don't let your foot off the pedal but let's not get too fancy coach i'm going out there and get another goal dude we are ending this we get a four goal lead it's ggs three goal lead anything can happen four goal lead it's over okay coach is still leaving us on the ice he wants us to get one last rush i think before we get off so we will we'll, we'll try to Try to make something happen for him here. I will say I'm a little disappointed in our lack of bodying Josh Morrissey, but I have decided to leave it up to plan good, clean. Oh, watch this. Morrissey. No. Hold up. Morrissey. Morrissey. Boom. Okay. He's lucky the whistle went. I was going to body him. He's He is very lucky. Okay. Just like that. Like I said, three goal lead surmountable. Four goal lead is when you start to feel comfortable and we let them get another goal. So here we go. One more, oh, one more rush. Five seconds on the clock. A little spin. -o. Yep. Ew, ew, ew. 1.7 on the clock. Rusty with the spinner. Oh, that's the dagger right there. Rusty. As we put on the brakes, make a move and we find that top left corner. And that is how we are going to be hella buck what a cut what a spin what a goal coach is absolutely fired up here as well that is my sweet spot i never miss those says rusty let's go okay we got that three goal lead back that's all we needed obviously rusty playing some phenomenal hockey individual efforts have been incredible but this game is not over yet. All right. Anything can happen. It's four to one, but we need more. Four one. Let's get one more quick goal again. These, these quick run. Devontae's. What is that? Nice save there, Varley. Varley started to pick it up at Tendi as well. They haven't had a ton of good opportunities yet, as we'll step up there and clingy. Yep, let's go. Feed me. Feed me. Good little feed. We're gonna try to go a little spin. Oh. Oh. Ellie, what a save. Yo, I'm sensing something again. A little bop. <laughs> We are we are never losing again. <laughs> With the Colorado fan getting fired up in the whiteout. You love to see it. Sometimes you just shoot pucks. Like I said, we score one on Hellebuck, the floodgates open up. Ranton is there to bury it. Another banger goal, and this game is over. Feels good doing this, especially after what happened in the last game. We lost the last game 6-2. It was all Winnipeg from the, the puck drop to the final whistle. But now it is all Colorado. That's just how the playoff goes. Game by game, it doesn't matter. It's all about the momentum. It's all about who gets that first goal. And right now, we did it. Okay, Winnipeg does all... It, guess who scored the Winnipeg goal? It was none other than Josh Moore... Okay, I'm starting to get a starting to get a little bit of a little bit afraid here. Of course, Josh Morrissey was the one that buried their goal. Keep that in mind. The guy that is conspiring against Rostislav Nashrov, forced him out of the game. Now he's out here scoring goals. Of all players on the Winnipeg roster, Josh Morrissey is the last guy that you expect to be the impact player. And he literally is the, the number one player on their team right now. And 6-2. It's only fitting that this game ends the same way that the last one ends. 6-2 right now. Give me one more for Rusty. Okay, here we go. Nathan McKinnon. Josh Morrissey. Boom! Okay, that's, that's the biggest hit we're going to get on Morrissey, apparently. I see you in front. Boom! Take a seat, Morrissey! There it is! I've been trying to run this guy for the last minute and a half, and we finally do it. Morrissey, I want you to take that to your grave, buddy. All right? Look at this hit. Boom! <laughs> that's the tone setter right there. Next game, he's going to be keeping his head up. All right? Dumb penalty, but I'll take that all day long. And the final score just like last game, is a 6-2 to two victory for the Colorado Avalanche. We not only came out and played the best game, I think, of Rusty's career. Nasty goals, big hits, fight wins. He did it all. But the best part of the entire game was the hit to end it. We take Josh Forsey out of the play. It's only a two-minute penalty. We knock his head off. He flies to the ice, and he might not be getting up for the next game. So Colorado Avalanche take a 2-1 lead over the Winnipeg Jets. 
Now we just need to find a way to win the next one and keep the momentum going. The rusty playoff beard is, is starting to grow a little bit. All right, we're looking good. We're feeling good. Yes, we only got a B overall, probably because I ran Josh Morrissey to end the game, but I'm fine with that. Two goals, two assists, a fight win, and three hits all on Josh Morrissey. That is the best playoff game that we could ever have. We're up 2-1. Edmonton's up 2-1. Ottawa's up 2-1. And Toronto, like we said, it could actually be the year for the Toronto maple leafs up three to zero surely they don't choke this entire series away right uh, right oh they're probably gonna choke that away okay next game is a big one we go up three one there's no shot they're coming back especially at our own barn all right we're leaving everything on the line here we're taking out josh morrissey yet again if he's even in this game wish me luck hopping into game number four okay it's another whiteout here in winnipeg fans are fired up but they're not going to be fired up for long i tell you what man i i, I told you guys we score one on hellebuck and it's a different story they might as well not even put hellebuck in this game because this is going to be getting ugly Look at this. Johnny Hockey's already turning over the puck. We got Randon walking in. This is going to be a goal. First shot, first, first shot, first goal. Oh, back door. Ah, nothing there, nothing there. We'll go around the net. Okay, we, hey, we set a little. Did Hellebuck just glove that off? The, I think it went off the crossbar, bar down into the crease, and Hellebuck somehow got a glove on it with his glove face in the wrong direction. That is how good Hellebuck is. Okay, short shifts, smart shifts. Yep, boom. We're not losing again, boys. This, okay, the celebration, ran in the celebration, I'm going to tell you what, that might be a little bit excessive as he literally goes into Hellebuck's crease and Sully's in his face with his skate going into his pads. You know what? This is a team that's cocky. We're feeling it. We can't do anything wrong. Let's keep this rolling. The abs are buzzing. We're in his head. It's over. It, it is absolutely over. Watch this top right. Okay, if we bury that one, it's absolutely over. Clingy, boom. Nice little elbow to the head of Klingberg. And okay, we did actually we did actually get the penalty. If that's an elbow, it was an elbow. Okay, I can't complain about that one. I literally said it out loud. Rusty goes, the discipline we got up, but maybe we need a little bit more. As uh, he takes an unnecessary rung at Klingberg, literally with his elbow in the air the entire way. Rusty, let's get that under control. And the score is now... Two to one. We go to the box for two minutes with a, a little elbow penalty, and we end up with two goals in the back of our nets. That's what I deserve. All right, that is what I deserve. We just we have to be we have to be smarter. <laughs> okay, that's how it's gonna be. We take one penalty, and the tides of this entire series have shifted. We started out so perfect this game, so perfect in the last game, and now we're down three to one, seven minutes in. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, well this is a, a bit of a nightmare scenario. We're just gonna honestly not a bad not a bad shot. The vibes are off here. Start taking Josh. We need to start taking Josh Morrissey out of the play. I'm gonna start doing some dumping and chasing just so I can body. Okay, it seems that is Rantanen, and he is limping his way off the ice. Listen, the fact that nobody on this team stood up for Rantanen shows a lot about who we are. Every single time Rusty gets Rusty gets bodied, there's no one sticking up for him. Usually Rusty's the one dropping the gloves. I didn't want to do it again this game, all right? We got to be smart. Rantanen gets cross-checked in the head, elbowed in the back of the skull, no penalty on the play, and Rusty is not there to stick up for him. What is happening to the goaltending this series? We got four minutes left here in the first period. It is now a 4-2 to two game. Hold on. Okay, I did not see that guy way up there, but we're going to try to tow you around him. We do. That's Morrissey as well. We cannot let Morrissey win these battles. Okay, good little look there. Hold on. We got a little one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Pionk! Okay, we got to get this next goal here, boys. We got to get this next goal. We got me, me and Nate back walking up there alone. No more big hits. No more being dumb. Dubois, I see you. We'll get that elbow up. Yep, good hit. Nice clean hit as well. Rusty grinding, grinding, grinding. Finding that... Trying to find that far side. We have no energy left. We got to get off the ice. Okay, first period comes to an end. We are down four to two. Again, I don't know what happened to the goaltending. I don't know what happened to our team. We go to the box for a couple minutes and all of a sudden everything that we've learned from the entirety of the season falls apart. We got some work to do in period number two, but we are not out of this game. That's one of the dirtiest hits I've ever seen in my life. Okay, we also need to check on the severity of the Rantanen injury as... Okay, Rantanen is back on the ice. He definitely limped off, but he got some got some work done in the intermission, and now he's all right. Find me, Kale. Find me. Boom. <gasps> Weak shot there from Rusty, but a good play. The boys are buzzing. Malkin, go ahead and take a seat. We get that puck back. Little spin-o. <gasps> yep, little spin-o. <gasps> Boom. Nice shot. 
Rebound's not there. We got a little ozone pressure, though. Look at the boys buzzing here. Boom! No looks for no shot from Rusty. We have no energy left. Going to the net. Boom again. Boom again. Oh. Ooh, actually got through. We got a tip on that as well. We're gonna we're gonna head off. No, no big hits with no energy left. As we, we are struggling to get to the bench. Hey, I tell you what. Tell you what. We got a little bit of a game here. 3-4 the score with six minutes left. Let's just take this slow again. We don't want to... If you don't mind getting up there. If you don't mind getting up there. Yep. Okay, good. We'll get it back to you and let you get hit again, Johnson. <laughs> oh, man. This is a battle here, boys. We're having a good time. It thought this one was over, but it is certainly not over. Oh, it's not over. Here we go. One-on-one. -on -one. Between the legs. Oh, no. ah. Okay, okay, we're getting a little, maybe a little too excited. No, we are not! Rantanen, bang! Just calm, let's just calm down a little bit. Act like we've been here before. Rantanen, nice little finish, but we got work to do. Oh, we almost went for the backwards skating between the legs. We at least attempted it. Puck bounces around a little bit. Rantanen's there to bury it, and boom, just like that, this game is tied. Rusty is literally bodying people and stepping over them as he does. This is a cocky hockey team right here. Okay, yeah, we got to get off the ice, but we're going to go for one. Okay, we'll get off the ice. Smart hockey. Here's good hockey. Yeah, I mean, you can't ask for a better one than this right here. It is 4-4 heading into the third period. We were down 3-1. It seemed like all hope was lost. But the first line in Rostislav Nastrov come out here and change the game like we always do. Let's keep this rolling into period number three. I don't know how to say this. I feel like the next goal wins this, wins not only this game, but wins this entire series. It just feels like there's so much on the line here right now. Nice hit. Helmet's down as well. He's gonna have to go to the bench, which means we should have some we should have some speed and some space. Where to get back there, Rant. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be good and smart here for coach. We're gonna dump this puck low. Great dump there from Rusty. Give us a little bounce. We, we do get the bounce. Don't get possession of the puck, but we're off the ice. I mean, that's just uh, that's just the story of this game. Every time Rusty gets off the ice, a goal goes into the back of the net. We're putting the pressure on them. Don't stop now. We need line one to come out here and get a goal. I know you're thinking it. I'm thinking it. Let's just agree here. We are going to change the game right here, right now. Okay, 5-4 here, boys. Yep, booming hit there. Get on side, Mac. Okay, Mac is on side. We got Schmitty. Boom. Oh, back door. Oh, we try to find the backdoor feed. That's one of the biggest hits I've ever laid. Let's do it again. We're starting to put the pressure on these boys. You got to think we're only getting two sh shifts as... That's probably me. That's pro And it's a hat trick, of course. The hats come flying down here in Winnipeg as Ehlers picks up his hat trick. That's probably me. I got to take a look. Ehlers kind of cut in from the point. I should be a little bit higher on that play. Should have picked up the man and should not have let that happen. And just like that, Ehlers buries his hat trick, gets his team up too. And now all of a sudden, the dreams are starting to fall apart. Let's just go ahead and, hey, we keep playing our game. Keep playing slow. Keep getting the job done. Little Rusty. <gasps> oh, try to do a windmill into the shot. We got no energy left. We have to get off the ice. This is getting ugly here. And we do not touch the ice again as the Winnipeg Jets down the Colorado Avalanche in a devastating 7-4 to four loss. We started out down early. We fought hard, came back, and ultimately just got demolished and embarrassed to end this game. As the Winnipeg Jets saluting their fans? This series is not over yet. You can't go out there and salute the fans yet. I don't like that from the Winnipeg Jets. Morrissey, I think we put Morrissey in his place as we didn't hear anything from him in this fourth game, but they got the best of us. A loss is a loss. We've got some work to do here in the couple days off. We'll get back this series at home and hopefully take the next one. Absolute silence heading into the locker room. Really no nothing positive to take away from that. I mean, the, the one thing that we can learn is we can come back at any time. You know, it doesn't matter who we're playing. Look at the goose egg down the line for Rostislav Nashrov as well. All zeros. We got six shots on net, four hits. But other than that, absolutely nothing from Rusty. Yeah, there's no easy way to put it. That one, uh, that one stinks a little bit. As it seemed like we had the series under control, and now we do not. It is tied 2-2 between the Avs and the Winnipeg Jets. 2-2 in the Battle of Alberta. 3-1 for the Ottawa Senators and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Starting to slowly choke that series away. Next episode is when things get interesting because next episode we could end this series. All we need is two wins. 
Two wins, one game at a time. We take them down, and the rest of this bracket gets much, much easier. The Winnipeg Jets gave us the most trouble during the regular season. Obviously, the Edmonton Oilers would give us some trouble as well. But we've got some time to settle down, some time to think, and to get dialed in for the next game. The beard on Rostislav Nashrov starting to grow as well. It was an interesting episode, but not exactly what you want to see. All right? I hope you guys did enjoy it, though. If you are enjoying the Stanley Cup playoffs with Rostislav Nashrov, you know what to do. Hit the video with a like. Hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 1 milli and a lot more Rusty videos on the way soon. That's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. And peace.